We are going to explore how an agnostic approach might work in order to do this. We want to start small, then grow as we develop larger applications. To accomplish a scalable and accessible approach to this problem, I think the best way to address this uh, through small steps. Serverless framework provides us with a couple of examples of how to create serverless functions correctly and agnostically. The following snippets, sorry. The following snippet demonstrates a poor example of agnostic code. So the following is a poor example. A poor example. Here is a poor example. This code is poor example because the business logic is not separate from the FAAS provider. It is bounded to the way AWS Lambda passes incoming data. So it's Lambda's event object. So it's bounded. All right, it's not FA as a service. Testing this function will rely on separate services, specifically running database instance and a mail server. Testing this function will rely on separate services. So for this reason, it's a poor example because it depends on AWS and it depends on separate services such as database instance and a mail server. We can refactor this and make it executable yet, not dependent on functions specific to AWS. The following code demonstrates how we can separate the logic from execution. So this way we don't make it AWS dependent. This user class handles the incoming request rather agnostically. So the first example is a poor example. This one fixes the poor example. The database and mailer are both provided externally. In this case, we can provide a class with Azure DB and mailer instance, a Google DB and mailer instance, uh, WSDB and Miller instance. Of course, these are the only ones covered by this book, these three cloud solutions. But if you want more generic agnostic approach, you will include implementation from other European, Asian, and other cloud solutions, right? The following code demonstrates the index module that calls the user's class. just like that now the class we've defined here keeps business the keeps business logic separate further the code responsible for setting up dependencies injecting them calling business logic functions and interacting with aws lambda as is in its own file which will be changed less often this way the business logic logic is not provided is not provider dependent and if it's not the provider dependent it's called agnostic and it's easier to reuse and test so we can reuse it and we don't have provider lock-in further this code doesn't require running any external services instead of the real db and mailer services we can pass mocks and asserts if server user ID, if server user and send welcome email have been called with the proper arguments. Unit test can be easily can easily be written to cover this class. An integration test. So we have unit test, an integration test can be added by invoking the function serverless invoke with fixture email address. It would 
then check whether the user is actually saved to DB and whether email was received to see if anything is working together. Our approach to solving an agno the agnostic scenario will follow a similar path. The index file or the main file executing the code will be blind to the provider and the logic and services associated with that provider. Figure 6.6 six illustrates the feasibility of this approach. So what we saw in the last example, how it was poor and then became good. Our approach of, to solving the agnostic scenario will follow a similar path, same in the same way. The index file and the main file execu executing the code will be blind to the provider and the logic and service associated with that provider. And the feasibility is shown in figure 6.6 six, and this is how it shows an agnostic approach. Here is the full thing, the full figure. And if we magnify it and go through each one, triggering event of serverless function, function executes based on provider services. And we have the Azure logic, the AWS logic, the Google logic. Then we have the function executed using the provider specific services. So you have to write the agnostic software three times one for each one right and here is the azure aws google again these are the products covered by this ad book so this book is like an advertisement for these products um, if you want to see other alternatives go through that there are so many other U european asians and many other solutions right And here, here is the title for the figure. With this proposed solution, the provider specific code is kept separate from separate. It's kept separate from the index file. When it's time to deploy, you can select the appropriate provider logic code and deploy the provider's environment. To make this even simpler, we will utilize serverless framework to deploy the code serverless.yaml file file includes a provider input field we would need to change that depending on the provider and deploy making sure the triggers and services are all stated correctly per provider inside this file we could even have a, a serverless file for each provider then choose which to deploy when we settle on a provider the following